So this is the old lab kit. Okay, so in the old lab kit, you have a breadboard, and on the breadboard, you stick all the components over here. And, and then this is the power supply for the breadboard, and this is to cut the wires. And basically, that's it. The old labs didn't have any of the stuff you're seeing over here. Here is an iPad. On this iPad, we have uh, all the videos, uh, lab videos, all the screencasts and so on are stored over here. Students look at these uh, videos over here and follow the experiments. So, and this way, they don't have to wait for some uh, TA at a certain time to give Hi the lecture. Everyone. They can list, see yeah, these videos this, anytime uh, they want video, to. I'm going to show you how to use an oscilloscope. This is the exact oscilloscope you'll be using in your, uh, in your labs. My name is Jesse. I'm from China, and I'm, ma I'm a sophomore majored in electrical and computer engineering. In here, every student can watch the lab videos and lab screencasts, and if they don't understand it, they have a chance to see the video and the screencast again until they really understand what is going on. Another new thing about this lab is the lecture and labs are actually integrated. And so whatever you learn in the lecture, you have a chance to actually implement it in the, in the lab. That's how we learn more from the lab than uh, from this, this new lab than the old lab. Before, we really could not have a course like this because the amount of time it would take to learn all the technology that we, we put into the laboratory would really be excessive. It would not be possible to do it with the, using a teaching assistant, teaching small groups of laboratory students you know, a group at a time. Um, the fact that we can put all this into an iPad, it's really something that fits the student's schedule and allows them to learn on their own time.